Hello, one of y'all. This is one of my tacos. Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. I was about to say Dungeons so and Dread more, but that's not true. Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When we last left off, the important creatures needed to save everyone in Waterdeep were saved inside of a stable and have been stolen because they were kept inside of a stable. We failed to arrive here on time. And failed to save them. And we also lost our one companion that we had. We weren't meant to keep him through the game anyways. So, we need to move on into the city core. In one brutal Ooh. attack, the promise of those at the academy had been all but snuffed out. Hope disappeared with the water Davian creatures. And the weight of the terrible sickness pressed down on the city once more. Even more chilling, the whispered rumors of enemies seeking to destroy Neverwinter from within had proved true. Though the identity of those responsible for the slaughter was as yet unknown. Still, a flicker of hope yet remained. For not all had died in the attack. From the bloody carnage at the Academy, a survivor had stepped forward. A champion to carry the torch in this darkest hour. Cutscene! And now that that's over, probably talking. Yep. You were quick to answer the summons. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the Halls of Justice. I was not quick to answer the summons. I was teleported here. This is a mistake, Fenthic. We know nothing about this whelp. How can you so blindly trust them? You said whelp. The text says ranger. And more dialogue. Desert, yes, please. Jericho said great promise throughout his training at the Academy. I know that said showed. I said the word showed wrong and have done even more in the week since the attack. Rarely has a recruit shown such potential after so short training. If we aren't have any hope of finding a cure for the willing death, we need people like him in the service of Neverwinter. Hmm, how to answer? I will say I am honored to serve. I am honored to serve, Neverwinter. And I still say we should put our faith in my Hellmite brother, brethren rather than an unproven boy. Erebeth holds Jericho in the highest regard, Desser, and Lord Nasher placed her in charge, not you. Please, Jericho, you must forgive, Desser. The plague takes a heavy toll on all of us, a toll made even greater in the past weeks by the attack on the Academy and by the loss of the cure. Uh, I will say... I understand. These are troubled times. You speak more truth than you know, Jericho. Within the Academy, the walls tune the horror of the Wailing Death. Ah, English, sorry. Within the Academy, walls the true horror of the Wailing Death had yet to be felt. The quarantine of a never winter. Of never. Ah, man, I'm terrible at this whole reading aloud thing. I apologize. I'm not a terrible reader. I'm very terrible at reading out loud. And I thought I would get better over the course of these videos, but so far it certainly has not. The good news is, once we get to the game's, like, actual meat, like, once we start getting into dungeons and all that stuff, the dialogue is going to significantly decrease. The quarantine of Neverwinter has done little to halt the spread of the Wailing Death. Bonfires burn bright as the day, and day as the city watch dispose of the dead, yet the corpses are piled ever higher. I am at the point where I, I seriously just probably need to stop reading because I'm not helping. It is all we can do to contain the chaos and maintain order with the various districts. Rumors run rampant and the citizens are on the verge of panic. We have no choice but to ask about rumors. Because the plague cannot be cured by priests or clerics of the city, some claim it is a natural thing sent by the unknown enemy bent on destroying Neverwinter. The attack on the academy in these past weeks will only make things worse, Fenthic. Once people learn how Arabeth lost a cure through her lack of faith and putting the important creatures in a stable instead of inside the safe walls. 
I will not have you question the faith of my true love. Arabeth believed in the academy to be a safe haven. Anyways, it is not our place to even discuss such things. My lady Arabeth is in charge, appointed by the Lord Nasher himself to stop the wailing death. You must talk to her, Jericho, as soon as possible. I will say I have some questions and see if anything sparks my interest. It is important you speak with Arabeth soon, but I will not refuse your request. Ask your questions. Right. Um. <sighs> you know, the thing is, every one of these questions that I ask is dialogue that I personally have to read out loud, and I really, really don't want that. But at the same time, I also don't want to misrepresent the game's story by not asking questions and not going actually in depth into the story. So, I don't know. What do you know about the attack on the Academy? We learned very little in the week after the attack occurred. Um, it's been a week? You are only one of the few, you are, you are one of the few who survived. The instructions were slaughtered and only a handful of the students are left. <clears throat> you must hold, <sighs> no, no. No. I'll be going. Goodbye! Right, we're done with dialogue for this video. I'm tired of reading it. I don't know where this door leads. It's not going to tell me where this door leads. This leads to the Hall of Justice. Maybe I don't want to go into the Hall of Justice. Maybe I want to leave. Considering Arabeth is right there, I think I want to leave. Listen to me here. No. Not dealing with that whole I must speak to you thing. What's this lead to? Barred from the outside. Joy. <sighs> there are parts of this game that I'm really looking forward to, and we're getting through all the parts that I'm completely not looking forward to Listen right to now. Me, yeah. I must speak with Just you. the open introduction with all the dialogue and 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 dialogue is normally fine. But when you're reading it out loud in the let's play, it's pretty terrible. You were training at the academy. I am Lady Arabeth de Tilmarand, paladin in the service of Tyr and the right hand of Nasha Alagonda, Lord of Neverwinter. I have been waiting for you. I was delayed by Fenthic. Ah, oh, dear Fenthic, the love of my life. He has been my rock during these troubled times, but even he cannot help me with this. If all the dialogue was spoken like this, this game wouldn't be such I a problem. I've been following your progress since your early training at the academy. Neverwinter has need of one like you if we are to survive the Wailing Death. Uh huh. The attack on the academy doused the one faint spark of hope the city had. I need you to help recover that which we have lost. I will serve you. I knew I could count on you. There are many rumors about the plague, but if you are to aid me in this, it is important you know the truth about the Wailing Death. I'm just happy you're still Our speaking instead of making me say it. nothing to help those afflicted by the Wailing Death. And even our most powerful magic cannot raise those who succumb to the illness. Uh-huh. But a short time ago, we had word that Kelvin Blackstaff Aronson, the famous Archmage of Waterdeep, had discovered a potential cure, one that might be concocted from the essence of four rare and magical creatures. I have heard of such rumors before. Under great secrecy, the four creatures were gathered in Waterdeep, then sent here to Neverwinter. As strange a menagerie as any has ever set eyes on. A cockatrice, an intellect devourer, a yonti, and a dryad. Interesting. I ordered them sent to the Academy, Neverwinter's renowned training institution for adventurers of every ilk. I once studied there myself, and I thought the instructors and students were loyal to Lord Nasher. They were. You just put the all-important animals inside a useless stable. You think someone at the Academy betrayed you? The Academy may have been betrayed from within. And my character is yawning. I simply put too much faith in the instructors, students, and staff to keep this new secret, as Dester claims. Possibly. You, there. you saw the slaughter. The attack caught us unprepared. 
You are one of only a handful of survivors from the carnage of the Academy. Even though everyone else was significantly higher level. Fenthic and Dester arrived with reinforcements, but during the confusion of battle, the Water Davian creatures disappeared into the streets of Neverwinter, and our hopes of a cure vanished with them. Let me guess, you want me to get those creatures back? Your task in this is twofold. First, find the Water Davian creatures and bring them back to me, at any cost. We need to harvest components from these creatures if we are to concoct a cure for the Wailing Death. This is your most important duty. Okay. Second, we must discover who was behind the attack on the Academy. Any evidence you uncover in this matter should be brought to Fenthic. He is the one assigned the task of unmasking our hidden enemy. Shouldn't the City Watch be helping? The City Watch can do little to help in this search. Their numbers are barely enough to keep order in the streets of Neverwinter. Others, like Fenthic or myself, have duties that require we stay here. See, I don't mind asking questions when the dialogue is actually voiced. You proved yourself during the attack on the Academy. Your bravery and skill are obvious, and I know you are not in league with those who seek to destroy Neverwinter. How do we even know the creatures are still alive? By all accounts, the creatures escaped the battle at the Academy unharmed, and there are many reports of strange beasts pouring in from every district of the city. Interesting. And she's no longer speaking. You must recover the water Davian creatures if we are to survive the willing death. The fate of Neverwinter rests on your shoulders now. I will do as you command. I ask for your discretion in this matter. News of the attack and strange creatures roaming the city will only add to the panic and chaos already in the streets. Noted. To aid you in your task, I will give you this Stone of Recall. You will find it to be a valuable tool in your quest. How does it work? You can activate the Stone of Recall at any time, and it will instantly teleport you and anyone in your service back here to the Temple of Tyr. Interesting. Any time you go through the teleportation portal in Tyr's Temple, it will instantly send you and any companions back to the place your stone was last activated. That's very handy. There is little else I can tell you about this mission. Whenever you need provisions, come speak to me again, and I can sell them to you through the store here at Tears Temple. I'm basically broke. Take this gold so you can buy the necessary supplies for your mission. Remember to stock up on healing potions before you go. They will be critical to your survival. Oh! Well, thank you for the gold! Hmm... I will begin my search for the Water Davian creatures at once. You might want to seek someone to accompany you in your mission. There are a number of mercenaries for hire at the Trade of Blades located in the city core. A good place to begin your search for the missing creatures might be the Peninsula District. There have been several eyewitness accounts of strange beasts in the area. Noted. Farewell. May Tyr guide your steps. Right. Dialogue finally over. We can talk Welcome. to her again, though. Do you have news of the missing Water Davian creatures? Or is there something else you need? I require services. I want to look at your inventory and sell what I don't need. Can I move this? No. Let's see. I'm never going to use a breastplate, so let's sell it. Whoop. I didn't mean to drop it. Uh, how do I pick it back up? Is it tab? There we are. Sorry, I meant to sell it. Sell. I don't know how the price is fair here, so... Really, I'm just taking shots in the dark. Gonna sell all these. We're gonna sell the green stones. Sell the malachite. Sell the gem. Certain ones of these I can use, certain ones I can't. As you can see there, I can use that one, because it's white. I cannot use ones that are red. So ones that are red, get sold. Gotta make that money. We have... A few potions of Cure Light Wounds. Enough to get started, certainly. 
We want to hold on to most of this stuff we have left, except the wine. And that gem. And I do need the stone of recall. I have a few potions of cure monitor, and that's my inventory. Does she have anything I want? She probably does. Question is, can I afford it? She doesn't have a long bow, which is the big thing I want. I have arrows for now, and pretty much the rest of this stuff I'm not going to be able to afford. Especially if it's like magical or whatever. So, we're going to leave. Hope I was selling all that stuff. I was. Okay, good. When it shifted over there, it confused me for a second. So, there are people here at the temple that we can talk to. And, unfortunately, that's part of the game. So, we're going to have to. Hello to you. Greetings. This is Sergol. I think that's how you say that. Arabeth has instructed me to provide whatever assistance I can in your mission to recover the water Davian creatures. You know what I should do? I should start by dragging the mouse from word to word and slow me down a little bit. That will probably help me read out loud for you guys. Let's see if I remember that trick from this set of recording to the next one, though. However, my magic is not of a healing nature. My skills are what lead through Tide. That's not lead, that's Tide. Tied to the teleportation portal in this temple, and the stone of recall in your backpack. Is there something I can do for you? I'm gonna go. Farewell. May the grace of tear be upon you. I don't really want to talk to you. You don't sound like you have anything important to say. We will talk to you. Well, hello there. You have the smell of a prospective employer about you. Not that it's easy to smell anything with all the burning corpses in this city, mind you. <laughs> Never seen this many flies outside of a Callum Shot alehouse. Who are you? Me? Why, I'm none other than the renowned rogue, Tommy Undergallows. To my friends, to the lasses, and that damned halfling to the position of respectable authority. It's grin. I thought when it said grin, I thought that, like, those quotation marks meant to be asterisks, so he was grinning. I understand now he's actually supposed to just say his names. I can forgive you for not having heard of me. However, I... Hailed mostly from Calumport. I think that's Calumport. And that's a long way for my reputation to travel. I give it another week, personally. Um. I am not feeling like talking. Well, oh, good. For a second there, it looked like my microphone was paused. That's a sign of the plague. If you don't mind, if you don't die some wretched death, come back sometime and we'll make a deal. I don't think I want a rogue in the party. I can't unlock locks or anything like that. But there are certain skills that I'm not really interested in that a rogue provides. I don't know where these doors lead. Who are you? Glaf? Of the Olaf. Olaf. Welcome to the House of Tear. I am Reverend Judge Olaf Uskar in service of the maimed god. Uh-huh. Will you answer some questions? Uh, no. You have nothing interesting to say to me. I will look in these books for this spell. Is this stealing? I don't know if this is stealing, but I'll take it. This is probably stealing. You know what? I'm going to stop taking things. <laughs> I'm not stealing from these people. Alright. What's the other door lead to? I'm guessing the big door leads out. Locked. Well, when we come back, folks, more of my terrible reading skills, and then maybe, just maybe, we can actually get this real quest started. Thank you all for watching. This is one of Otaku saving and signing off. I'll see you later. Take care and bye bye.